Make sure you like this video as you are coming in. Make sure you like the video. Today's video is sponsored by PopTech Socket Phone Dashboard Mount. It has an innovative U-shaped mount designed specifically for the layered texture structure of socket grip. It fits precisely and tightly with all types and thickness of phone grip with expanding kickstand except many collapsible socket. Even on bumpy roads, sharp corners, or speed bumps, it still grips your phone securely and never flips over. The holder's cutout design avoids scratching your pop socket surface. It is easy to install. Just stick the suction cup phone holder for socket to the dashboard of smooth and hard material. Lock it with infinity knob. It can be firmly adhered to the dash and then slide cell phone into the U-shaped socket mount. It fits for vehicles, cars, trucks, vans, caravans, SUVs, minivans, sedans, mini cars, pickups, taxis, rentals, and so on. To purchase this product, just click the link in the description box. Now back to today's video. I'm back, I'm back. Did you miss me? Did you miss me is the question, honey. Y'all saw the title of the video. We got Martel Hook-Headed Holtz, you know, accusing Melody of messing with the married man, the married security guard. Now, like... Child, make it make sense. Listen, like, make it make sense. It's, it's just a mess. It's a fool. He is doing all this, you guys. That way he could get full custody of the kids and she could pay him child support. And he can move on with whoever he go be with. It won't be Arion because he knows that he could just put her on the bench. Okay. That's why I always tell you, ladies, it is not a badge of honor to be a side chick because all it does is it lets the man know that you you willing to, to be on the side. You're willing to be on the bench, okay? But yeah, it's just, you know, more shenanigans. Melody has filed a, a motion against Martell, um, rightfully so, because he's stupid, okay? Just special, just, ooh, child. I don't think that man have all his marbles, okay? So, honey, let's see what the people think about all this. So, one person says, Martell only wants first right of refusal so he can build a case for full custody by saying that the kids are always with him due to her traveling all the time. We see the play Martell and none of us, including Mel, see right through that dumb ass shit. I know that's right. It's just dumb just dumb but he is a narcissist and a narcissist will always accuse you of doing the things that they are doing or that they have already done because his whole marriage came what crashing down because he decided to cheat on his wife for all them years with a ugga booga a ugga booga wooga wooga okay and speaking of that heifer, I, I heard recently, honey, she didn't, uh, <laughs> crawled out of obscurity, honey, and she back out here, honey, without her leash, out of her cage, honey. We gonna talk about that heifer on another day. It's just too much going on, okay, in these Huntsville streets. We got Moses, they saying he was in jail. Are we shocked? The nigga already did 15 years, okay? What's five to 10 more, okay? Okay, a mess, but we'll get to that, honey, in a minute. Okay, what's that, Sonny? You ain't doing all that, my man, my man, he my man, he a good man, Savannah. You ain't saying all of that. You've been quiet, girl. And I have noticed since I've seen Sonny on social media, she kind of been by herself. Okay, a lot. So, yeah, honey, they talking about Moses was locked up. I don't know if he out now, but they talking about he was locked up. Don't let him out. Okay? Don't let him out. 
Child, the show should be named Love and Marriage, the Locked Up Edition. Okay, Carlos, you need to change the name of the damn show. Okay, honey, I swear Love and Marriage Huntsville is a court case waiting to happen, okay? What that fool need to do is he need to drop the damn motion and stop being so damn obsessed with Melody. Absolutely. That fool need to mind his own business, okay? Over there lying, talking about one of the kids saw me and the security guard kissing, and he was rubbing my feet. None of that has ever happened. Absolutely. It has never happened. Martel Hook-Headed Holt is a very controlling, unhinged man. And that's the kind way to put it. Absolutely. Ah, shut up, Heifer. You need to leave my boy alone and concentrate on passing the damn builder's license test, Heifer. I'm sick of you and your mammy thinking y'all so much better than everybody, especially my boy. I am better than him, Miss Marlene. Absolutely. <laughs> Mel got a black ass soul. She just trying to punish my tail. Can't y'all imagine Tisha saying some BS like that? She's just trying to punish Martel. That uh, Telltale sign song, that was Mel bashing. When I saw that bitch say that, I was like, Melody, you better, this another event. Event. You need to put this bitch up out of... She better than uh me, okay? Because if I was Melody, Tisha's ass would have been thrown out. You didn't saw this man lie to this woman, cheat on her, put her through hell, and you go sit up there and talking about, oh, it's male bashing. The damn song is true, shit. He was over there cheating and lying for all them years, okay? A mess. Oh, and somebody else says... That Melody could have said something, you know, especially with Destiny posting the kids on Martel's birthday. He had Belinda posting uh, Boss Baby. Yeah, he had all of that going on. See, he can do all of that. Melody better not have nobody else around the kids, right? He doesn't want Melody to have any help. He wants her to be broke and destitute. Like that ooga booga, and we all know that ain't gonna happen because Melody is set up in a different type of way, okay? She's set up to win, and he don't like that, okay? He wants Melody back in that burning house in a puddle of confusion, in a puddle of tears, and he wants to bring her down. This is what the narcissist does after you divorce them. Remember, you owe them for the rest of your life. You had children with them, okay? I was even told by my child's father, yeah, that's going to always be my pussy. No, it ain't. It don't belong to you. Hell, it, it, wasn't, it didn't belong to you <laughs> while I was with you, okay? Yeah. So just a mess how how these men are. He's so possessive over her. It's crazy. And I don't know who is out here representing him and helping him to file these motions. But they, honey, <laughs> they need to be fired. Okay, they do. Because all you got to do is watch the damn show to see how unhinged he is. We saw all this coming. Okay, we saw all this coming when we saw that scene with him and Melody. And he had what? Followed her on her date. He recorded her and her date, took pictures of of them out on the date like when you was at our favorite restaurant and so the hell what she ain't your wife no more you weirdo so he did it all on tv all the judge gotta do all, all anybody gotta do is watch the show you could see how unhinged this man is okay how possessive of melody he is a mess Let's see what some more people think of this. One person says, imagine being his little girlfriend, wanting to be his wife, and he is fixated on his successful ex-wife. I know, I know that's right. That part right there, okay? 
So another person says the scariest part of Martel's countersuit is the fact that he named the plaintiff as Melody Cherie Holt. He is really delusional. Well, he did that, you guys, um, at the reunion. See, a lot of his behavior, he's already, like, showed himself, okay, on the show. That's why I keep... I keep referring back to the damn show. It's already been documented. Y'all remember um, when Melody came out and she kept trying to get rid of that last name? I don't know if she was able to change it yet. Um, but yeah, he kept telling Carlos, yeah, it's Holt. It, it, it's still Holt. And it's like, no, nigga, she's trying to get... Get away from that damn name. And he got real mad. Um, remember when she wanted to change it back to Rogers? He blew up on Miss Nail and they arguing going back and forth. Okay. So, child, just a mess. I think it's really sad how he's using the children against their own mother. He's using them as weapons to punish their mother. Okay. He's very manipulative. And this is why narcissists love children. I told you all a long time ago, he didn't have those children because he really cares about being a father and he has their best interests at heart. No, the children will be used to control the mother, okay? To punish the mother, to keep her from moving on with her life. Okay, it all started with the complaint about the multiple baby babysitters. And then he tells the courts, I want first right of refusal. And you probably kept saying no, kept, you know, not getting them. I told y'all I went through that. You know, they get upset that these other people, right, are watching their children that they said they was too busy to keep, right? So that becomes a problem. Okay, the name of the game when you're dealing with a narcissist is to just always be a problem, always cause some type of confusion, okay? Create some type of punishment for the victim. That's the name of the game. So let's talk about the ways that narcissists use their children. They neglect the children's emotional needs. They live vicariously through the children. They only love them conditionally. Okay, now he's into the business of over punishing the children, especially that son, right? And they're normally harder on the child that shares the same sex as them. Okay, that's who gets it the worst. Um, they will use them to manage the family's reputation. They gaslight and belittle them. They manipulate them with gifts and rewards, using them to control their former spouse, posing as protectors to assert control over the children. They triangulate to cause confusion. They undermine the other parent, they will sabotage the other parent's plans with the children, and they will also question your parenting ability, okay, if you are the former spouse. So yes, they love using children, and that's why they create children, because the children are simply an extension of themselves, okay? So they don't see the children as individualistic human beings with their own feelings, wants, emotions, dreams, hopes. No, they want to tell the kids, you know, what they should be when they grow up. And they, you know, they just want all this control over the children, right? And it's, it's really sad and it's pathetic. So Martel also accused um, Melody of having the children call the security guard daddy. Um, just a mess, a fool, okay? So like I said before, all of his behavior is just centered around control, it really kills him that, you know, Melody is not married to him anymore. 
and you know she is living a very pop uh prosperous life you know she's successful her businesses are doing amazing you know so he's just he's so jealous of that right and that's why he keeps trying to, you know, flip all these narratives. Like in their marriage, he was the cheater. But we will hear him say, oh, well, she cheated on me too. And, and that's a narcissist. Anything that you accuse them of, because they did it, they will throw it right back on you. Okay? They project. They are hypocrites. Narcissists lack self-awareness. They tend to be unaware of all of their hypocrisies. They accuse in an instant, then become convinced of their accusations. Projecting allows them to avoid responsibility for their dysfunctional behavior while putting others on the defensive. Narcissists accuse others of infidelity as a defense mechanism to shift blame. Being falsely accused by a narcissist can lead to emotional devastation. Why do narcissists cheat and lie in a relationship or within a marriage? Narcissists often have a deep need for admiration and validation, which can drive them to seek attention outside of their relationship or marriage. They may view cheating as a way to boost their low self-esteem or simply as a thrill. So all of uh, Martel's behavior, you know, towards Melody, you know, with this whole thing with Court, it's it's all about deflection, distraction. Okay, that that's about all it is. And something tells me he gonna end up getting locked up. They already found him guilty, right? Okay, of the harassing communications, he's trying to fight it, but. To me, he's making, you know, himself look worse. Okay? he He's making himself look worse. Let me see what some of y'all got to say about this, honey. Child, just a mess. One person says, I just don't get it. They're divorced. She can kiss, date, touch whoever she wants. This is way out of hand. What's next? Uh... He'll probably say she can't get remarried. They've been divorced four to five years. He's a B.A.N. Yeah, he is. He He's very possessive over her, and it, it's sick. It, it's sick to be married to this type of individual, to have children with them, right? You've, you've procreated with a demon, right? with a demon then the hell you have to go through once you get away from them it's like it never ends it never stops but melody is doing the best thing anybody could do because what you want to do with these type of toxic individuals i don't give a damn who it is narcissist a non-narcissist just whoever is toxic trying to destroy your life go legal report 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 document 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 you have to get them in the system okay you have to get them in the system so she did the right thing, you know, and she is keeping her foot on his neck as she should, okay? Because once he gets into the system, see, he going to be losing. Look at Diddy, okay? I know he, he wish he would have just never did any. Well, I don't know, because Diddy didn't did a lot of shit. So I don't know if he regretted, but I know he probably rethinking everything right about now sitting up in that jail cell like damn i should have just already gave her the money and he thought she wasn't go you know file that lawsuit because once that lawsuit with cassie happened it was a wrap it it only got worse so um you know with melody's situation they got him for the harassing communications right so he doesn't like that because you got to think he's a narcissist and he doesn't like anybody like 
destroying his reputation, even though he did it. But remember, when you're dealing with a narcissist or a toxic person, everything is always somebody else's fault. It's never about what they did to themselves, how they self-sabotage their own life, right? Martel knows his life is over because he's going to jail and he's trying everything he can to avoid that. My question is for the courts of Alabama. How long will y'all put up with his shenanigans? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Another person says if Mel is in a relationship, she's not putting it on display like Martel introducing his children to different women. It was multiple women and Melody didn't say nothing because she's not petty like that and she doesn't care about what he does. Another person says he wants Melody alone, okay, especially at night. He's trying to isolate her. That's another thing narcissists do. Um, and they love when you don't have no family and you don't have no friends. That way they can really abuse you and take it up to the next notch, okay? So always keep family, friends, um, just, you know, whoever is in support of you, you want to keep these people in your life. Okay. But yeah, he don't like that Melody has security. Uh, somebody says Jason is not her only security. Um, yeah. And you got to look at the whole thing with the, yeah, she's having an affair with the security guard and they're kissing in there. What the hell does that have to do with you? Like he's literally showing how crazy and unhinged he is worrying about his ex-wife. Because let's say she was doing that. It's none of your damn business. You are the one that blew up your whole marriage for some woman you don't even want. You should be focused on her. Since she's the whole damn restaurant, ain't that right, Carlos King? She the whole damn restaurant, right? And I knew Carlos was full of shit when he said that because I was like, she ain't shit. She ain't nothing. What did his ass do? He came back that next reunion and said something new. I think you're still in love with Melody. Which one is it, nigga? These niggas don't know. I know. Okay, I know what it is. He's jealous of Melody. He did what niggas do when they jealous of you. They gotta cheat on you. They gotta, um you know, disrespect you, embarrass you, make you look bad. They have to humble you, okay? This is why a lot of men in general, as soon as you, like, tell them, no, you don't want to date them, you're not attracted to them, you know, like, as soon as... As soon as you don't want nothing to do with them, they got to uh, humble you. You don't look all like that anyway. Or I already got a woman. Or you ain't all like this and like that. You think you so much better than everybody. It becomes that whole thing. Ask me how I know. I didn't been through it. I done had niggas that had women getting mad with me, arguing with me. Get your ass out my face. You ain't what I would want. Shit. Ain't, you ain't going to sit up and waste my damn time. Shit. Crazy as hell. But yeah, another person says this court case he is bringing against Melody is just a way for him to have some contact with her. As a narc, he cannot bear that she is breaking the connection with him completely. He also wants to tear down her image because he feels she tore down his. He is accusing Melody of having a relationship with a married man, hurting another married woman and her family. Yep. This ain't his first time, though, doing this. Didn't he accuse her of messing with some other men that had fiancés? Didn't he do that out when they was in Vegas? So, like I said, if y'all really pay attention to Mark Tell's behavior, he's already did stuff in the past similar to this. So, yeah, you know, ain't nobody shocked. Okay, yep. But, yep, bringing this woman and her family into it, yep. So now they may be looking at Melody and may, you know, everything is to sabotage Melody. 
everything is to, and it's sad. It is so sad. The way Melody and her children were hurt by his actions. If he shared this with her himself, he would be in breach of his criminal court order. If he shared it with his flying monkeys, he would also be in breach of his criminal court order. After all, what does the marital status of who she's having a relationship with have anything to do with the custody battle? Exactly. It has nothing. Okay. So, child, it, it is a mess. A whole fool of a mess. Melody has always stayed under security protection. Always domestic violence is real. I don't care if they are single, divorced, or married, protecting you and the four golden nuggets. Exactly. She need protection, you know. So, especially dealing with a psychopath like him. So, another person says, I don't think Martell wants to control Melody. I think that he really dislikes her and he is very jealous that she is doing better than him since divorcing him. He is trying to control her. I have to stop you right there. He is trying to control her. Anytime you try to stop this woman from having certain babysitters, anytime... Uh, you are worried about who she's dating, who she's kissing, who's rubbing her feet. You are trying to control her. Anytime you try to keep her from working, okay? You are trying to control her. And all of it is a pathetic effort for her to run back to him. They want you to be helpless, hopeless, okay? He doesn't like Melody's drive. He didn't like it. He pretended to like it and understand it while he was over there with her. But he hates it because he doesn't have it. And I'm here to tell y'all, I don't think these these men are men these days. I They got a lot of female up in them. And, and, and I'm going to tell you, uh, you fellas this. We only respect men in order to you know, be respected as a man, you got to act like one, baby. And this ain't, this is some B-A-N, bitch-ass nigga shiggity right here. You're not acting like a man, okay? You're not. You're unhinged. You're callous. You're, you know, disrespectful. You making up lies. You, you know, you're just all over the place, and he really needs to hit rock bottom. He doesn't need to be rewarded for bad behavior. He needs to hit rock bottom. That way there can be some type of change. I think that Marceau even told him that at one time. You haven't really hit rock bottom. You haven't really hit it yet because until you hit it, there won't be no change. You won't be motivated to change your ways, but he needs to lose access to the children. Okay, he does. He needs to lose his job. He shouldn't have never been on Real Housewives of Atlanta. He doesn't need to be promoted anymore. Okay? But like I said, Carlos ain't gonna fire him because he looks at the Holtz. Even though they're not married anymore, he feels like they both are the stars of the show. And I don't think he feels like the Scots can hold a candle to, you know, Melody and Martell. I don't think he feels comfortable with them, like, carrying the show. I, d I don't think he knows, you know, I don't think he thinks they can do it. I'll, I'll say that. So, yeah, he is, he's a mess. He is a mess. She need to uh, put his ass on child support, okay, if she can. But yeah, that's how you do niggas like him. And no contact. He don't need no contact with the kids either. So yeah. Another person says Martel misses the lifestyle and income that afforded his ability to flex for his side pieces and buddies. It sounds like he's broke and wants to make Melody provide for him. The money, money, money. Yeah. Okay, so let's get the 
uh, get to this story with uh, Moses, who's uh, allegedly his real name is Jason Wesley Monroe. Now, that looks more like it. You don't look like no damn Moses, okay? You, no. <laughs> okay, so his age, 42, okay? This person's birthday is in April. Remember, I did the birthday reading. I don't have his exact birthday, but I was told, you know, it was in April. The custody status date, August 29th, 2024. Custody status in custody in Lincoln County Jail. He was booked on August 8th. Yeah, August 8th. Wow. I wonder, hmm, wonder is he still in it? He probably out by now. I wonder what it was about. The filing location, St. Louis County. So let's see what some people saying about this. If I had to critically think about who gave out Moses' legal name that that led right back to bug-eyed, broke-busted, dusty-ana, miserable ass. I don't care. I don't care what y'all say. She did it to cause havoc in their marriage. She's mad. She's still a side chick. Self-proclaimed friends with benefits chick. Oh, child. Not the friends with the benefits. Okay. <laughs> not why we blaming destiny we need to be looking at sunny my man my man where is sunny at okay with the my man my man he chose me he wanted to marry me after uh what 90 days he married me he chose me he says all the pick me honey he chose me so, child, another person says, yep, it was reported to the entire cast and it was told about Moses and Sonny's situation and Dusty reported it to her minion, Peggy, and that's how the information got out. She's mad because she knew Sonny was going to expose why La Barbecue dumped her. I mean, Sonny is still standing by her husband and Destiny still got dumped. Ooh, child, what y'all think of that? Okay, so one person says, I am so sick of folks complaining about people digging into their past or present. Yeah, because there were a lot of people that kept saying, you know, oh, I'm sick of being on this show. And, you know, they always looking into stuff. We've heard Latifah complain, Marceau, Destiny, you know, just a lot of people on the cast have complained about that. Stay off TV, period. And Sonny has no storyline or Moses or whatever their names are. Stay off of reality TV shows, everybody, especially you, Sonny, if you supposedly had a stalker. What the hell? She keeps saying Destiny jealous. I don't know if she is or not, but y'all both seem a bit jealous. And Sonny keep mentioning he's my husband. Girl, a lot of folks are married and is he supposed to be the prize? No judgment. Just saying you're not the first or last woman to be married or pregnant. Congrats if it's true. <laughs> I'm going to throw shade if I can't get paid. Mm, you remember I used to say that. If you don't want folks digging into your life, you're putting out for the world to see. Get off the dang show. I also saw this live of Sunny where she was saying that um, her and Moses didn't have to be Destiny's storyline. Girl, y'all getting together, it is a storyline. What If y'all come back to the damn show... You was this girl's former producer. She claims y'all was friends. That type of stuff is going to make it to reality TV. So for you to say, oh, well, Destiny used us as a storyline, you became the storyline when you took your draws off for your former, um, I was going to say castmate, former um, half of that you claim wasn't your friend honey but i say otherwise because you was telling the girl you loved her and girl whatever 
you know that you wanted to be with that man, okay? Sunny is the definition of what women will do. They will, and she's a dark-sided cancer. That's what they do. They only care about men. They don't really, like a Porsche, another dark-sided cancer, and another one, okay? Who else is a dark-sided cancer? You get my damn point. They only care about the man in a situation. They don't care about women. They will drop you as friends, okay? Because that D is all they care about. If you don't want folks digging into your life, you're putting out for the world, then get off the show. I know that's right. Get off the damn show. Another person says this is what happens when you date and marry.